Hey everybody, welcome to Bluegrass Heaven. Uh, today we're going to take a look at mandolin chops, uh, which is a large part of what you're going to be doing in rhythm. Um, bluegrass music is all based around that boom chuck, boom chuck. The booms are the bass and the mandolin's the chuck. And uh, this is a large part on four, or four finger chords because the concept is that we want to hit that chord but we don't want it to ring out so we need to use all four fingers on or at least cover the four strings so that we can release the pressure so we're going to start off with um, G so we have our basic two finger G chord and then if we want to make a three finger chord we would add the uh, ring finger on the fifth fret of the D string, making that a G note. And this is where it's really hard, stretching that pinky all the way to the seventh fret on the G string. And uh, so the idea behind this is so when we strum it, okay, that rings out. But if we want to get that shunk sound, what we want to do is not take our fingers off the strings, but release the strings from the fretboard. So again, we're on the two and four, so if you can get that foot tapping on the one and the three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, then our C chord, uh, we're only going to use three fingers. Um, uh, so we're going to put our index finger on the D string second fret. That's an E note. And then our middle finger, we're going to kind of try to bar the first and second string. So the second string on the third fret is a C note. And on the first string on the third fret is a G note. So we want to try to kind of press those down. And again, uh, we're just trying to get a percussion sound. So we don't really need it to truly ring out. We want to try to get them as close as we can because we do have some ring at the beginning. And then our ring finger is going to go up to the first string on the fifth fret. So that's a C chord there and these are movable shapes. So if we took that and just, if that's a C, one fret up would be a C sharp. If we moved everything up another fret, that would be our D chord. Okay, so put some time into this and uh, it's vital that you, as a mandolin player, get your chops down because that's a big part of playing bluegrass music. Um, take it slow and easy, just work with the left hand. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it takes some time, just like with anything, the muscle memory to get those fingers going. If you're at a jam and you haven't gotten that down yet, um, and you're just still playing two finger chords or three finger chords, what you can do, again, you don't want it to ring out like that so you can kind of palm block with your right hand so I'm strumming down and as I come back up I'm just putting my palm or the heel of my palm on the strings So work on that, and again, big part is muting the strings or just making that shunk. You don't want it to ring out when you're doing your chops. So I uh, hope you liked that lesson, and uh, make sure you subscribe to Bluegrass Heaven. You guys have a great day.